Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing a, what I like to call, prep to set. It's where I will a full, full glam from start to finish. Like how I prep the skin to the makeup um, to the end and how I get it all set and ready to go. So I'm going to be doing um, skincare prep, hair and makeup. Without talking too much, because this is going to be a long video as it is, let's get into it. So I've washed my face. I use the Antipodes cleanser. I'll link it down below. It's, it's such an amazing, amazing cleanser. So then after that, I go in with my serums. It's the Q plus A Zinc PCA facial serum. It is really, really amazing. It helps with anti-aging, collagen reboost, re collagen boosting, for minimizing, calming, skin firmness, hydration, for oily, stressed, and normal combination of skin. Then I go in with my Skin Physics um, Oxygen C Vitamin C Brightening Serum. You always need a brightening serum in your routine. Yeah, I think it's helped my skin so very much. And just to have like so much scarring over here and everything and now it's just so much better. I focus this around my lips a lot because I do have a lot of damage around here because it's just really dry. I'm gonna go in with a lip balm. In key, it's just the eye cream that I have. And I put a little, little bit. Because if you put a bit too much, you get those little like milky dots under your eye. I hate those. Then next, I'll just go in with my moisturizer. This is just a hemp infused moisturizer, just giving it a go. That's pretty much it for the skincare. This is how I prep my skin. Before I go in and do the face, I kind of just let it all soak in. Sometimes I'll wear a mask, sometimes I won't. My skin's actually pretty good at the moment. I am gonna go in to doing my hair. So I like to do skin base first, then go in with my hair. Let that kind of cool set then go into makeup, then I will brush my hair at the end. I'm gonna curl it, I haven't curled it in a very, very long, long time. So I thought that would be really cute to do. Now I don't wanna to curl to the point where it's like ringlet, I want more of like a wave kind of curl. I'm gonna fast forward through this bit just cause it's gonna take a good amount of time to do, and plus you won't see the process. So something that's probably gonna take me like 40 minutes to do, you'll see in like 20 seconds. So let's get going. So this is the hair after it's all been curled a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with a big brush and I'm just gonna brush it out because obviously I don't want it to stay like this. So now it's not gonna stay like this just because it's gonna drop. That's why I did it first. I always, always do my hair first and then I pretty much just let it drop. Now that it's brushed out a bit, I'm gonna leave it and um, go into the face. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to be trying a few new products today. Some I've tested a little bit, but um, others that I haven't really. I'm super, super excited. Um, the first I'm going to go in with is primer. So I've used this a couple times. I got it a week and a half ago. It is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. I've used it a few times, and it's actually really nice. It feels really, really nice on the skin. All right, so I am going to be doing a glam look, but not like a very over, over the top look. Um, it's going to be subtle. It's going to be obviously using my smoky browns that I love so much and kind of like a cat eye or like a wing eye. And I'll be trying some new lashes. These aren't new, new, but these are the Aqua Lashes from Ardell. So you dip them in water and that's how it activates the glue, which is very, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, crazy to me. All right, so I'm going to start off with the eyes. I'm just going to move my mirror closer. I'm just going to fill them in. I'm just going to take the Goof Proof by Benefit in the number three. I'm only going to fill them in ever so slightly. I'm not going to go over the top. It's pretty much line the bottom of them and getting all the sparse areas. I'm just doing this so I pretty much know where to carve my brows out before I start doing my eyes. Then I'll go in once everything is done to do the rest of it. I'm just going to go in with a flat brush and then just my Revolution Seal and Hydrate in number C2. And I'm just going to use this to carve out the brows. Different brush just to kind of clean up the edges and smooth it out a bit more. I would never normally do this with my eyes. Um, I always just went on like my straight bare skin. I didn't really care about a clean canvas. I'm just going to go in with um, some RCMA powder just to set my eyes. I'm really excited to wear 
these lashes and try them out. It's so interesting having water-based active lashes. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette, just what I have here on my bench, and I don't wanna keep using the Anastasia one, it's the Soft Glam. So I'm gonna go in with this. For the crease color, I'm gonna go in with this color here, Agent, just the top left-hand side, just because it looks like the best crease color, and I'm just gonna go in with the um, Jaclyn Hill JH32. Just a very light, light hand. To be honest, I probably have so many better other palettes that have better colors for this. I'm here, so I might as well just start off with this one. Because this is really yellow, and I didn't want a really yellow crease. I'm just going to go in with the JH34. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in with Smooth Criminal, but a very, very light hand. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tap it in the corner. Get most of the color that I want in the outer corner, and then I'll go in and blend it out. I've been watching a lot of cut crease videos people have been going in with saying like a like a pink or like a green and going straight into the crease without doing any transition colors first and then kind of buffing it out which i was like like what if you can't blend that out what if it's not a blendable color what if it's a bad formula it looks so good to the point where let me just show you with this so if we'll go in and do that first and i found it and like pack on the color but it all turned out so nice. That's kind of what I'm doing in my outer crease or my outer corner here. I'm packing that color in. Just gonna go back in with the other brush with no extra product on it and just kind of blend that out. So I'm gonna blend as like this is a lot of blending to make sure it's all nice and seamless. Actually, I might do a little bit of a cut crease just so it um opens up the eyes. Now I know you've probably seen me do a look like this so many times, but this is just kind of a different way to do it. And I'm very, I'm here for it at the moment. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, the tip of this brush with no extra product, I'm gonna go and work that in. So holding the brush straight up instead of on an angle and kind of just using the tip of it, because you can see this is a tapered kind of brush. So it has a point at the top. So if you get it and kind of go in straight, that tip, will work in the product. Like I said, there's no extra product on the brush. I'm just working in what I have on the outer corner. And don't worry about too much of the mess that's on the lid, because obviously if we're doing that cut crease, it won't be there. It will be all cleaned away. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with some more Smooth Criminal just on the AH34 brush, just what we're packing it on with. I'm gonna go more to the lash line, just to keep that looking nice and dark. That's pretty much it for the crease of a look i'm gonna go in and clean up the inner corner of the eye i'm not gonna be doing a full cut crease literally just to like probably halfway through the eyes so what i like to do when i'm cutting the crease now i can obviously i like to lift up my eyebrows because i can see where the crease actually is and i'm gonna go a little bit below that to still have that crease then have that line of the color but just to kind of show it more if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna lift my eyebrows. And this is the Dark Magic palette from Jaclyn Hill's like the Vault collection. I'm just gonna use this because it has this like little, kind of like a skin color there. It's called Proof. I'm just gonna go over the part where we just cut. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back in with the color Agent that we used all over the crease just on that JH34 brush and kind of just pat over this line. Cause like I said, I don't want it to be very harsh. I'm just gonna go in with the JH40 with Agent and a mixture of Smooth Criminal and just kind of try and blend that line in. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that brush and blend it in over here. Kind of blend those colors together. I know this kind of defeats the purpose of the cut crease but it was really just a very meant to be like a very soft kind of look what i'm going to do is all right so i'm going to get the jh38 and i'm going to go in with prowl so this really really dark brown here um and put this oh that's really pigmented on the outer v going out kind of like a wing but i'm not going to do the wing just yet i'm just going to at that kind of in the shape of where I would want the wing to go this is such a like a dark color and I love it now I'm not worrying too much about the inner corners just yet 
because I will go in and do those. I just want to focus on the outer. Kind of do the flicking motion of where I want the wings to be. So this is just a small angled ColourPop brush going in with that prow color. I'm going to go in and do the inner corners. Oof, that looks so nice around the line. Oof. I kind of and just connect it to that. I do the liner or the brow. Wow, the brow. And now I do the line. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up. I think I want to do a little bit of a shimmer on the lid. I'm just going to go with the Mary Luminizer. I picked this up yesterday and I hadn't used it in ages. Um, and then I'm just going to use the little shader brush we used to set the eyes because I want to go in with the shimmer. Kind of still sticking to where the cut is, but not going too over the top. I'm going to kind of create my own shape with this. So it kind of looks like a full coming out. I'm kind of just taking it on the outer corner just at the top of the eye. So it looks like it's all kind of going on the angle. The eyes are pretty much done. I'm just going to go in and clean up underneath and the line. So there is a new foundation that I did a little test on yesterday, but I want to do it again. The Rimmel foundation. It's the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 hour hydration boost foundation. So this is meant to be full coverage, lightweight foundation. I got in soft beige and ivory. All right, so obviously we all know how I like to do my foundation. I'm gonna go in with the H03 brush. I'm going to go in with ivory because that's what I used yesterday. And it seemed like a pretty good color. I think it's a bit, bit darker than me, but obviously. I'm gonna go in with the outer of my face because that's where I feel like I have the most like, pigmentation. Then I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender. I'm just going to wet it a bit more because it's dried up a bit. I'm just going to take the icon iconic London Prep Set and Glow. It's just like the water mist. It's really, really nice. It makes you glow. So I'm just going to go in and pat that all in. Now, I actually really like this foundation. Like it, sit, it sat well on my skin yesterday. I was vlogging and I had it on. I went and picked up my wedding dress yesterday. I was wearing it and it looked so good, but I wanted to give it a bit more of a test, like a longer test. I might just go on my beauty blender or my sponge from Morphe. This is a very, very nice foundation. What I don't understand about, obviously, people coming out with long wearing foundations, why 25 hour? Who's wearing a foundation for 25 hours? This is what I would like to know. First of all, who's gonna be awake for 25 hours? Who are you falling asleep in your makeup and wanting to see if it looks good the next day or something? Like. <laughs> I just wanted to try it because like, why is SPF 20 and I couldn't wear it at night. See, that's also what I don't, it's also what I don't like about foundations that have SPF in it. Like I get it, it's good to wear, obviously have SPF, but it cancels out, you can't wear it at night because flashback. So it only really lets you wear it if you're that worried about flashback is during the day. So it's not really like a foundation you could wear at night, say if you're going out clubbing. Obviously no one's gonna be looking at my face this close up, but I just wanna see how it looks. It sits on the skin very well. I'll give it that. Now I'm just going to go back in with some more concealer and obviously do under my eyes. Now I want to be very easy with how I do this because I don't want to ruin any of the eyeshadow that we have going on. So I'm going to go start a bit lower and then I'm going to blend it up into the eye. I'm going to go in and let the eyes set. I'm going to do those last. I like letting it dry a little bit before going in and blending it out because it kind of sets the concealer in a bit and it dries and it gives it more coverage. All right, for the eyes, I'm going to go in with a brush. I'm going to use this brush to do the outer corners because I want to be very snatched. This is the JH10 brush. Now just in with my blender. I'm going to go with a clean brush and kind of just clean up in the center of here because it looks a bit crusty. I go in with, I'm just, I know it's in the lower modes here, container, but it's the RCMA um, powder. I'm just trialing it out. I don't really like having a lot of powder on my face anymore because I feel like it makes me look so, so dry. Now I don't know if this has flashback. I'm really worried about flashback today. Clearly. Now, I kind of want to go, I haven't done this in the longest time, but I actually really want to do my under eyes as well. So I'm just going to go in with the JH38 brush, actually not a, like a fluffier brush. This is the JH31 and I'll go up underneath, it doesn't need to look overly clean, but I want it to connect with the lash. I want it to connect with the line. I'm going to go in with the JH38. I'm going to go with Smooth Criminal and kind of go directly on the line. On my bottom lash line. I can't even see what I'm doing. Directly on my bottom lash line. So I'm going to go in with the angled brush and just go into my waterline. Just because I kind of want it to be like smoky. I'm going to go in with Cotton Bud 
and the micellar water. And what I'm going to do is just in up here. So I still want that to be open. And back in with Prowl. I'm going to go on the inner corner and kind of make that more cat eye. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to move on to the rest of my face before I go back into the eyes. Um, I'm going to go in with the uh, Hourglass, what is it called? Ambient Light Bronzing Powder. I love this powder so much. And just with a big fluffy brush. I'm going to bronze first, then go and do a little bit of contouring. Yes, Omega Bronzer in 102 Tan Trick. And I'm going to use this as a kind of like a contouring. It is still warm, but I'm going to do it to more focus. I'm going to use the JH05 brush. And just place that underneath my cheekbones. All right, I'm gonna use this on the side of my nose as well. I don't overly contour my nose. This feels weird having like no color there when the rest of my face is like warm. All right, I'm gonna go in and finish off the brows. Just using the goof proof again. I'm just really going in, getting them all sorted. I'm gonna go in with the 3D brow tones from Benefit as well in the shade. What number is this? Four. I'm actually running out of this and I really liked it. I like to really focus this on the fronts of my brows because there's not a lot of hair there and I don't like filling it in to the point where it looks like a block. So that's why I just focus. Good one, Bianca. I just got, I just got brow pomade on my... But yeah, I like to focus this on the front of my brows so it makes them look fuller than they are. Take my Illuminizer again. And just work that on my cheekbones. I can't just remember when this was like the it highlighter. Like obviously that was years and years ago, but I just remember when it was like the holy grail everyone used highlighter. Like where are the times gone? So I'm gonna go in with lashes. So I'm trying out the new Adele Professional Aqua Lashes. This is the parent pending lash. This is what they look like. Very full, very beautiful. Oh, this is like a double layer. Oh, that's so cool. Let's get into it. I have some water here. Just gonna trim up pens. It's like you gotta hold it in there for like 10 seconds. All right, let's get the tray of water. I'm not gonna hold it up just in case. See what worries me is that it's wet. All right, let's give it a go. Well, it's done. All right, so they're on. That was a little bit more difficult than I expected, but. Like with everything, just like putting on normal lashes, you learn. Um, the only problem I had with them is that I didn't know if they were ready. It kind of dripped down to my bottom lash line. But you know what? All good. They look really good. I really like them. Um, I'm going to go in with the Fetish Mascara on the bottom. Well, actually, no. Because they're a bit thick. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Lash, Sensa lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I just kind of want it on the outer corners of the eyes. And then for lips, I actually can't wait to finish my hair because it's bugging me. And then for lips, I have Rimmel London a Lip Liner. Overline my cupid's bow. For the lip, I'm going to go with this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in... I don't know. It doesn't have it on here. I think I'm going to go get more of these lashes. I actually really like them. All right. So now with the hair, I'm just going to run my fingers through it. I've turned the iron back on. What I'm going to do is, where did I put the comb? What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to grab the bottom of my hair and just straighten the ends. Because I don't want the ends to be like flicking out or anything. Because I used to be able to curl my hair so much better when it was a bit shorter. Now that it's not so short, it just looks funny. Alright, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of hairspray. This is the Schwarzkopf Go To Go To Be. I don't know what that means. Glued Blasting Freeze Hairspray for screaming hold. Now I'm not going to use that much of it. Just obviously hold it in a bit. And then I'm going to kind of like brush it out. Because I don't like the feeling of hairspray. I just want it to be a bit... Oof. Look at that. See what like just... Oh, it's just so big. I love it. Alright, I'm just going to set my face. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved how the makeup turned out. The lashes, they were a bit difficult to start with, but I'm sure once I get a hold of them, I won't have any issues. I loved how everything turned out. I loved how my shadow looks. It looks amazing. The base, the foundation's really nice. I actually think it's a bit sticky, which I don't know why, but that's when I was kind of pouncing it in with the Beauty Blender, I could feel that it was a bit sticky. 
But at the end of the day, it looks really nice. Am I going to know if it lasts 25 hours? No, I'm never going to know that because I'm not going to be wearing it for that long. Um, but for the price point and how it sits on my skin. Now, it could have something to do with the primer that I used. Um, I will probably test it out with a different primer at some point. Um, but it looks really nice and I love it so much. It hasn't sunken into any pores just yet which I normally have a big problem with and does that straight away. And it normally does that like straight away, but at, at the moment, no. And it looks so pretty. Everything came together so nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and want me to do more kind of prep to set. Let me know. It was really fun to film. I could try out different eye looks, different occasions. And yeah, it'd be so super fun to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.